Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create input output structure for a transformation and how to define metadata and how to construct mapping graphically in transform message component. I will switch to the AnyPoint Studio now. I will create a Mule project. File, new, Mule project. I will give the name demo app. I will click finish. Now I will drag HTTP listener. I will add connector configuration. I will keep these configuration values to default. Click OK. Now I will give the path slash demo. Now I will show you the input output sample data for mapping. So this is my input data sample and this is my output data sample. Let me open this data. Let me copy it together. So this is input sample data and this is output sample data. So we need to map array of the JSON object to the array of uh, another JSON object and we need to map employee number to employee ID, employee first name, last name to name and then address line 1 to city, line 2 to state, line 3 to country and line 4 to pin code and then we need to compute salary. So we will map the basic plus other salary to the salary. So I will create the input type and object type. I will define the metadata and then I will graphically map the input data to the output data. So let's switch back to the AnyPoint Studio. Now I will select the transform message component and drag to the canvas inside the flow. Here I need to define metadata for input and metadata for output and then I will create the mapping. So I will click the define metadata. Here I need to add the metadata type for input data and I will give the type ID. It's employee input. JSON. We can give any readable name and I will click create type. Now I have to select the type. So input type is a JSON. So I will select JSON. Then to create the type, we can select either a schema or, or example. We have example. So I will select example. Now we have to select the file. So we will go to the directory where we have that file. So we'll select employee underscore input JSON. So we got all the field. Now I will click select. So our uh, input type has been created and the metadata has been defined and set for input. Now we will define the metadata for the output. Click define metadata. Here we will add the type for the output metadata. I will give the name EMP output JSON. Click create. Now from drop down, we have to select the output type. So our output type is JSON. And then we have to choose, do we have to create from a schema or do we have to create from example? So we have example, so I will select example. Then I will provide the path to the file. So our file exists here, mule mapping. 
and this is our example file so i was sorry we have to select output not input i selected wrong file so we have to select emp underscore output dot json okay we got all the field i will click select so our output metadata type has been created and it assigned so now i will map it so i will map now employee number to employee id employee first name and last name i will map it to name so i will drag first first name and then last name and then i will drag address line 1 to city address line 2 to state address line 3 to country okay address line 2 to state and address line 4 to pin code and then we will drag the basic salary to the salary and then we will drag the other salary to the salary so we created a mapping graphically now you can see that any point of studio generated a script so employee id is a mapping to employee number name is mapping to first name plus plus last name salary is mapping to the basic salary plus other salary and city state country and pin code also mapped accordingly now i will save this project right click and run it now this application is getting deployed okay application has been deployed now i will test this application and i will invoke this demo url from the postman so i will switch to the postman and i need to invoke the demo url i will select the post method and i click body and then raw and then i have to select json because we are going to send json now i will copy the input and paste it here so this is the input i'm going to send i will click send so we got the response and we can see that employee number is mapped name is mapped to first name last name salary got added and that is basic salary plus other salary 55 plus 65 is 120 that's what we are getting 120000 then address 1 is city address to is a state address 3 is the country address 4 is a pin code and uh, we can see that name is uh, coming david baller there is no space so now we can add this space manually so we can update the script so i will go to transform message component here i will do a small modification i will just add one space here so i will say plus plus double quotes and one space i will save it okay our application has been redeployed now i will go to postman and invoke it again click send okay we got the space now is better so everything is fine now so this is how we can create the input and output types and uh, we can define metadata we can attach the metadata type to the input and output and then with the help of a transform message 
graphical interface we can provide the mapping with the drag and drops and uh, transform message automatically generates the script if you want we can modify that script so it's very easy to create mapping between input payload to output payload this is all in this video i hope you understood this how to create mapping with the help of a graphical interface thanks for watching if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thank you very much